Hi, everybody. Matt Oliver reporting for Inside Gymnastics. Once the men hopefuls left the mat and their warm-up was completed, they had an opportunity to head in and meet with the media. Hi, this is Sean Johnson. <laughs> Um, I'm Steve Penny, and next to me is Jody Allen from Procter & Gamble. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Um, we're real excited to be here in, in San Jose for the 2012 U.S. Olympic Team Trials for Gymnastics. There's a saying that we have, uh, having awarded this event to San Jose, and it's a little term that we say, Gas Jusa. Gas Jusa means Go SJ USA. And basically, there's a reason that we're here in San Jose, and that is because San Jose is the best place for us to be. Gymnastics, I started when I was three years old. My mom had everything to do with it. I was a kid that had way too much energy. I was climbing around the house, doing suicide bombs off the <coughs> entertainment center. They didn't know what to do with me, so they put me in gymnastics. And I don't know what I would do or where I would be without her. So the Thank You Mom campaign really hits home. Um, I feel like my mom has gone you know, unnoticed for too long and unappreciated, or I haven't you know, expressed I don't know, my appreciation for her. And through this campaign, for all the athletes and all the Olympic moms, it really means a lot. So um, thank you for everything, and I think it'll it'll do a lot. But PNG has also given me the opportunity to transition from athlete to correspondent in London. I'll be the correspondent for PNG at the PNG House, which is the home away from home for moms, their family, their friends, their athletes. And I don't know, I'll kind of be on the other side of the camera now asking the athletes what you know they're feeling what they're doing prior to competition after competition just kind of getting to know the insight i'm a really curious person especially when it comes to other sports so i'm going to be asking what they eat for breakfast and everything <laughs> so it's in it's exciting but um it's great to be here it's strange uh, i was watching training earlier and kind of had a pit in my stomach but these girls are like my sisters my teammates and I'm going to be balling like a baby when that team is announced. And it's an honor to be in San Jose. It's a great facility, great arena. I remember competing here a few years ago. And it's just, it's great to be back, so. It means a lot to everyone. Um, you know, it's the Olympic Games. How can it not be a huge deal? I've been doing gymnastics now for 22 years. And it was so exciting to make my first Olympic Games. And this one would just, um, you know, now that I know what to expect, now I know, know what it's all about, you know, it, this one might almost be even a little more satisfying to know that, okay, I did it once and I was good enough to do it twice. Um, it's great. Um, you know, it's an Olympic year. Gymnastics is huge buzz. You know, a lot of people uh, only view it during Olympic year and, and kind of there's so much exposure out there now between magazines and social media and stuff like that. Um, hopefully we take this as, you know, a stepping stone and try to create, you know, a bigger fan base so that people pay attention to it more than just the Olympic year. Like that's that's the new goal. <laughs> yeah, I definitely hope so. You know, um, I, I I've tried to clean things up since I was younger. I was kind of sloppy when I was younger, so I spent you know last five years basically trying to get cleaner and cleaner. And um, floor is definitely somewhere where I became more clean and it, it's a little more artistic. And I feel like uh, you know being in floor finals last year under that pressure and being able to stay clean and um, you know just gives me more confidence and and makes me strive to work harder and and clean up every other event that I do as well. So I think that definitely could help me out. You know, my goal here is uh, to hit 12 for 12. Um, I don't. I feel like there's not too much pressure on me. I'm not one expected to be on the team, but I think that I can definitely. If I hit my routines, I can definitely be in the mix. I have three strong events that are just as good as anyone on this team, and um, I'm just concentrating on my own, my own, my own goals. You know, and that's to hit 12 for 12, and and I will shake up the box of uh, surprises. <laughs> um, I guess just that ultimate goal is what keeps me focused the most, you know, just knowing that I need to help the team get first at London and then uh, get all around go for myself and whatever else I would want. Hey, I made it through today's practice and my ankle is, is all right. I am in one piece right now. <laughs> yeah, I've already gotten several comments since I've been here. <laughs> I actually did um, I missed the same release move today on high bar and made the bar ping again, and everybody was like, don't, don't jump up, just leave it alone. Um, no, I was just kind of, you know, joking around. But um, I, this time, honestly, I think, I think I can bring sort of a different level of maturity and, and perspective um, to this competition and um, kind of keep it all sort of with, like I said, in, in perspective, I guess, that 
this is my last chance and I, I really, I think more than anything, want to enjoy the process and really leave everything that I have out on the floor. I want to be able to leave this meet with no regrets knowing that that I did absolutely everything I could to try to make this dream come true. When I was when I first started gymnastics, I was getting a bit of slack from the other kids because obviously, as a male gymnast, it's not very popular in, in the Bronx. But um, I didn't I didn't care what other kids thought because I was always very different in what I wanted to do and I knew what I wanted to do from a very young age. And my parents always stuck with me no matter what I wanted and what I what I what my dreams were so I knew that I wouldn't have to go through it all by myself and that that's what kept me going also and now that you've retired the next chapter for you we've heard about college we've heard about other opportunities what do you think it'll be uh, not sure yet still trying to um, you know map it all out but London is definitely in the works just working with PNG working with a lot of my other sponsors and um, going to cheer on Team USA well, thank you all for being here again. We appreciate uh, what's happening here. We're looking forward to a great weekend. And if you have any other questions, I'm sure we're available to answer them. So. Well, with warm-ups and media now done for the men, it's the women's turn. They'll be taking the floor momentarily, and we'll have their interviews later on. So make sure you check back in to Inside Gymnastics.